I'm going to introduce uh, each uh, one at a time uh, and invite them to give a few opening remarks. And I would like to uh, start with uh, uh, Dr. Mehdi Alak, who is the uh, Deputy Minister of Planning uh, and also uh, head of the um, Central Statistics Office uh, here in Iraq. Dr. Alak. Shukran uh, jazeelan. أسعدتم صباحا وأعتذر سأتكلم باللغة العربية من ناحية رسمية كانت لنا فرصة الالتقاء بالسيدة هيلين كلارك والوفد المرافق لها للتداول بشأن العلاقات المتبادلة بين وزارة التخطيط وبرنامج الأمم المتحدة الإمائي نحن سعداء بالالتقاء بهذه الشخصية المعروفة في الأمم المتحدة وعلى الصعيد الدولي ونعتقد بأن زيارتها للعراق تعبر عن اهتمام كبير لدعم برامج التعاون المشترك وفي لقائنا قبل قليل تداولنا بشأن بعض القضايا ذات الصلة ومن أبرزها دعم البرنامج لوزارة التخطيط في خطة التنمية الوطنية وفي إعداد التقرير الوطني للتنمية البشرية وفي الإعداد للتقرير الوطني للأهداف المائية للألفية بالإضافة إلى أنشطة كثيرة ولكننا ركزنا على المفاصل الثلاثة الأساسية ولم نتردد في الإشارة إلى الحاجة إلى مزيد من برامج بناء القدرات في هذه الجوانب لما للبرنامج المتحدة المائي من قدرات كبيرة لبناء القدرات الوطنية للجوانب الثلاثة التي أشرت إليها ولكن في نفس الوقت نعلن أو أعلننا عن استعدادنا للتعاون في جانبين أساسيين باعتبار أن وزارة التخطيط هي فوكال بوينت للليو أن دي بي سواء في عقد اتفاقية جديدة تحدد التزامات العراق إلى جانب ما, تقدم ما يقدم البرنامج بالإضافة إلى نقطة مهمة وهي أن نكون أيضا شركاء في تحمل تكاليف البرامج المشتركة أنا لا أريد أن أطيل كثيرا ولكن يعني بناء على برامج التعاون نتوقع أننا سنكون شركاء في إطلاق الأنشطة الأساسية خلال الشهور القادمة بدعم برنامج الأمم المتحدة للمائي ربما في مقتبل العام ودكتور سامي هو الذي يقود خطة التنمية الوطنية في الوزارة سنطلق هذا الـ هذا الـ هذه الوثيقة المهمة وأيضا في نفس الفترة سنطلق تقرير مهم عن الأهداف المائية ولكن على مستوى المحافظات وهذه نعتبرها خطوة متقدمة بفعل أو بفضل دعم القدرات من جانب اليو أن دي بي ونأمل في نهاية شهر ثلاثة نطلق التقرير الوطني للتنمية البشرية uh, thank you very much, Dr. Mahdi Alalak and uh, Dr. Sam Metti for your intervention. I'd now have the great pleasure to introduce uh, uh, Helen Clark, who is the UNDP Administrator and Chair of the UN Development Group. Uh, thank you to the Resident Coordinator, uh, Jackie Badcock, and to the two uh, Deputy Ministers of Planning who've joined us at the press conference today. Uh, this is uh, right at the end of the uh, brief uh, two and a half day visit. I've been paying to Iraq to give support and visibility to the work of the UNDP and the UN country team of, of agencies, funds and programs here. In the course of the visit, I've met with the Deputy Prime Minister, also Minister of Energy, uh, Foreign Minister, uh, obviously our two Deputy Ministers of, of Planning just now, uh, the Speaker and other uh, high officials at the Iraqi Parliament and uh, other representatives of civil uh, society and uh, Human Rights uh, Commission. I'm really uh, quite impressed with the broad UNDP program here uh, across uh, all the elements of our mandate. Uh, we do have a mandate from our governing board to work across uh, governance uh, poverty reduction, MDGs, environment, uh, energy, uh, sustainable development, and also recovery of crisis from crisis and conflict, uh, and on cross-cutting issues like gender. All of these are relevant uh, to our work in Iraq. So across uh, electoral support, public sector modernization, rule of law, 
establishment of the National Human Rights Commission, uh, poverty reduction, uh, reconstruction of basic services, uh, so many areas UNDP has been involved in which are part of the, the building of the new Iraq. Up until this time, a substantial portion of UNDP's staff dedicated to Iraq have been based in Amman and Jordan, but we have taken a decision to move our substantive programming operation uh, back to Iraq entirely, and we hope to see that happen in the course of the next year, providing we can get the adequate uh, office space uh, for it here. We've been discussing with our friends from the planning ministry this morning uh, all the cooperation we have with uh, them, uh, work on the new national development plan, and of course it's our desire to see all our UN country team uh, aligned with the objectives uh, in that plan. We're looking forward to the publication of the National Human Development Report on the theme of youth and youth potential. And then very important work has been done here on the multi-dimensional poverty index, uh, enabling uh, Ministry of Planning and all of us who work with it to focus on where the particularly intense areas of deprivation are in the country and then uh, hopefully really uh, focus on progress in those areas. And then there's uh, also a new national uh, report uh, coming on Iraq's progress towards achieving the Millennium Development Goals, and 2015 is a very relevant target date uh, for those. The current status on the MDGs is obviously a, a rather a mixed picture because uh, Iraq is, is coming out of a period of, of many years of deprivation of its, of its people. But without doubt, we're seeing progress on reduction of extreme poverty, uh, of uh, child and maternal mortality uh, rates. We see malaria incidents at near zero. You know, the, these are important uh, markers of progress. But clearly there's work to do. I have had a, a very interesting meeting this morning with uh, senior uh, representatives of women's uh, organisations and we're very keen to support the political, economic and social empowerment of women in the country. And if I could end my comments uh, on another area of considerable importance to the MDGs but also to Iraq as a country and it's the, the issue of water. Historically, Iraq has been a, a cradle of civilization, uh, nurtured by the two great rivers of the Tigris and the Euphrates. And these great rivers have uh, provided the basis for intense agricultural cultivation, now threatened by the rising levels of salinity. So the steps being taken now to form a new national water uh, body at the highest level and uh, look at the issues of better water management to secure the future of, of water in Iraq we regard as of critical importance and uh, from UNDP's point of view very keen to do whatever we can to support the government to ensure the future of water supply here. I'll leave my opening comments at that.